But I'd like us to thank God first for every blessings, every favor, every of his goodness upon our family. The truth is God has shown your family mercy. He has shown your family kindness. Are you what I'm saying now? Despite all the manipulations and devices of the wicked, God's mercy has always been there. Lift up your voice and appreciate God and thank him for his goodness, for his kindness, for his favors, for his goodness, for his kindness, for his favors, for all the blessings, for all the interventions. I give you praise. I thank you for your interventions, for disgracing the plan of hell, for the covenant of exemption, for frustrating the token of liars. Thank you for every help you have shown to my family. Thank you for every help you have shown to my family. I give you all the glory and all the praise. Thank you, Jesus, for all the provisions, all the supply, all the progress, academic success, establishing peace for us, giving us rest roundabout, for answer to prayers, for your presence in our midst. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, El Shaddai. Miracle worker. Dependable helper. Story changer. We come glorifying you for what you are said to do. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for opening the heavens for our families. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. Blessed be your holy name. We give you all the praise, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Today, your family will enter new glory. Amen. Today, the witch that vowed against your family will go down. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Today, I, I told God this night, my koboko must appear. Amen. Every trouble against any family must receive koboko today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Every trouble against any family destiny must receive koboko today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let redeem of the Lord say so. Congratulations. Please get seated. Enforcing your family glory. Every family under God is programmed for glory. Ordained for glory. Destined for glory. There is a glory prepared for every family. Most importantly, I like us to understand that this glory differs in weight.
the weight of glory upon one family varies from another family. But that does not mean that God is partial. What he makes happen for one is what he has prepared for the other. I'd like us to understand also that there is a glory awaiting your family even this season. And you must enter it by force. God's ultimate plan for me, for my family, for your family, is to be changing levels in glory. But I want you to hear this. A glorious family is not wished. You don't wish it. You fight for it. You press for it. You contend for it. What determines the glory every family wears is the open heavens. Because there is a heaven over every family. And the size of your family's open heaven determines the waves of blessings. So you must be concerned about your family glory. Some people are not even concerned about their family glory. They are more bothered about themselves. Your family glory determines your family prosperity. It determines your family progress. It determines your family enlargement. It determines your family flourishing. When the heavens are open over your family, his presence must be made manifest over your family. Mountains give way. Barriers clear out. But I want you to hear this. The principal attack of the enemy over your family is in the heavenlies. We call them habitation of wickedness. They want to inhabit the heavens over your family so that they can manipulate their destinies. But hear me, it's your choice to allow them. Scripture says, when men slept, the enemy came to do what? Sotas. A sotas. Glory can fade away. Glory also can pass away. Glory also can be turned to shame. Glory can be stolen. It can be lost. It can be killed. Jesus said, The thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to do what? Destroy. If your family glory has been stolen, get ready for restoration. Get ready for recovery. Amen. In every family, there is a star. Not one, not two. Stars. And if there is anything the enemy is looking for, is how to collect the stars. And leave them starless. At the end, they become never doers, NFAs. Instead of bringing glory to the family, they now begin to bring shame to the family. They didn't want it so, they didn't prepare for it to be so. But forces manipulated them to be so. Whoever is manipulating you, manipulating your family, 
today the assignment will be terminated. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. I'd like you to hear this. If you must enforce your family glory, you don't cope with situation, you go against them. You do what? You go against them. You don't get along with frustration. You fight them to an end. Can you manage hardship? Eh? Pastor, can you manage hardship? You don't cope with hardship, you go against it. You don't get along with frustration, you go against it. What God told them after he blessed Adam, he said, have dominion. He didn't say make negotiation. Everything God has ordained for your family, you must exercise your spiritual authority against the forces of limitation. If not, they never come to pass. That's why you need to engage the might of the Spirit, the help of the Spirit, the power of the Spirit. To enforce the blessings God has ordained for your family. First Corinthians 16 and verse 9. For a great door and effectual is open unto us. But there are many. How many? So the wider the door the greater the adversary. That is why when you start believing God that things will happen for your family, Satan starts attacking. But hear me. I want to say to you, it's not time to run away from attack. It's time to attack back. Are you wrong saying that? It's time to do what? Papa said the best form of defense is offense. The best form of offense is what? The best form of defense is what? Don't wait and say, uh, blood of Jesus, cover me. Blood of Jesus, strike for me. Are you around saying that? So if you don't strike, in that area, the enemy is opening a door of shame for you, for your family. You can't go forward. How many of us are aware that Jesus was opposed? You are not aware that Jesus was opposed? Jesus was opposed. Jesus was confronted. He got to another point. He told the disciples, let's go over to the other side. The storm came heavily. If you lack spiritual sensitivity, please write down every person in your family there. Write their names down. We are going to engage a mystery. If you lack spiritual sensitivity, you will be explaining things. You'll be explaining situations instead of confronting situations. You'll be explaining. This will happen, you explain. This will happen, you explain. If you lack spiritual sensitivity, your, your understanding will be blindfolded by the wicked. 
And you know Satan has a ministry of blindfolding. Just to blind your eyes from the truth. And leave you only with explanation. What you are supposed to confront. You are not explaining. You are not explaining. I've discovered. When there are issues to pray about. The enemy makes you angry. To the point that you don't pray about them. Has it happened to you? It's a clever tactic of wickedness. So that he can gain more ground to be hitting you in that area. Your enemy never attacks you on your point of strength. It's always on your point of weakness. It's always on your point of weakness, not on your point of strength. Whether you like it or not, every believer is opposed. Likewise, every family go through some levels of opposition. Much more importantly, when blessings are about to show face. Whoever is angry that blessing is about to show face in your family, today God will kill them. Maybe even they, if they sent you as a spy here to come and here. Watch out. The koboko that you will go with today. Thank God you came. Scripture said the wicked shall perish. I hold that scripture tight. Any wicked man that strays to refeed, I make sure that you are punished very well. So that when they send you another assignment, you won't go. One sister came the other day that uh, Sam, nothing is working in our family. I told her, wait, we have a covenant day of vengeance. Nothing is working. She was crying. We are begging to eat. I said, wait, vengeance service is on Sunday. After vengeance, Vengeance was on Sunday. On Monday, in less than 24 hours, so the strong man fly. Any strong man catching your family, today they will expire. Today they will expire. Hear me? What the enemy is using against you is mystery. The mystery of wickedness is coded. Likewise, the mystery of righteousness is also coded. What is this? What is this? Are you sure? Are you sure this is blood? Inside the blood is the mystery of liberty. Inside the blood is the mystery of blessing. He said, turn it to your stronghold, ye prisoners of hope, even today, do I declare that I will render double unto thee. Any witch on assignment against your family, north, south, east, and west, vengeance will hit in their car. Whoever the devil delegated against your family, Today, I command the angels of vengeance to hit them. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. So, you must fight for your family glory. There are powers that contend with glory on a desperate mission to enforce shame, disgrace, we call it the power of Ichabod. But today, every Ichabod in your family will expire. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Ichabod was an entity whose counsel cannot be ignored. He had an unusual, I don't know how to describe it. 
Anything he says is believed. But someday, like today, the ichabod of your family, their cancer will be disappointed. Amen. God said, he frustrated the token of liars and make it diviners to be what? Mad. The ichabod of your family will run mad. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. The enemy attacks families with mysteries. 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 That is why you must understand kingdom mysteries. If you engage mysteries against their mystery, your family must come out. I say your family must come out. Amen. Today, whatever negative mystery that has tied any family down in hardship, today the spell will scatter. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. One of the major mysteries is the mystery of the blood. Whether the blood of drinking or the blood of sprinkling. It's called a mystery because inside the blood is total liberty. Jesus paid a complete price. And the price he paid is not the one that will be paid a second time. That is why you must believe the blood. You must believe the price of the blood. You must believe the mystery that is in the blood. The blood has power to confront anything that needs to be confronted for your family to experience a turnaround. Scripture says, through faith in the blood. Through faith. It is the faith you have in the blood that guarantees the release of the power. Through faith in the blood. This blood can pursue any wicked man. Today, any wicked man or woman on assignment against you, against your family, the blood will pursue them. Through faith in the blood. Likewise, the blood has what we call smiting power. It can smite. There is a personality in the blood. The life of the flesh is in the blood. The power of resurrection is in the blood. So every time you engage the blood, for you it speaks peace. But for your enemies it speaks vengeance. So whatever has been written, enchanted, invoked, fired as an arrow, the vengeance of the blood is going against your enemies. God said, I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversary. Today, I decree by the blood every enemy of your destiny, of your family glory, let the vengeance of the blood hit them one after the other. What they have planned that your family will be victims of, by the blood I decree, let it reverse on their head. If you are saying amen, say better, amen. amen. Colossians chapter 2. Good. Blotting out the handwritings of ordinances, which means they have made several invocations, sponsor different levels of enchantments that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it on to the cross. Verse 15. And having spoiled, today God will spoil your enemies. He said, I will spoil them that spoil you. I 
will devour them that devour you. I will spoil them that spoil you. You can't spoil me and go free. I will rubbish you spiritually, rubbish you physically. You will become a non-entity on this earth. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them. Hear me? You see this? Nobody can win you. You can't win me. I said nobody can win you. Yeah. Scripture said they overcame him by the blood. That is their master. If their master is a witchcraft, they overcame him by the blood. So by the blood, even if you don't have muscle, you must win. Yeah. I say you must win. Yeah. In that matter, you must win. In that issue concerning your family, you must win. Amen. Triumphant blood. Triumphant blood. Triumphant blood. Triumphing over them. Which means there are many. You know, them is more than two. Triumphing over them. <laughs> If your family glory must come out, you must connect to the source of glory. And the blood is one of the major source of glory. If someone is walking desperately, fighting desperately, how you will enter shame, how your family will enter hardship, how your family will be in sorrow, man, revise the hand of God. Turn the hand of God against them. Turn the hand... This night, anyone that has vowed that your family will not have peace, they will see disaster. I invoke divine calamity upon their cap. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Every trouble that your family has gone through, it is time for your enemy to harvest tribulation. Every troubler of your family, I prophesy on this altar. From today, they will harvest tribulation. They will harvest tribulation on every side. Tribulation in their career. Tribulation in their home. Tribulation in their job. Tribulation in their business. They will meet trouble on every side. So you engage the blood. The, the blood is a fighting blood. It's beyond the drinking blood. It's a fighting weapon. When God was about to execute the last stroke upon Egypt, he said, I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and I will slay all the firstborn. Whoever has vowed not to let your family rest, the blood will invade their camp. Every time the blood is invoked for such an assignment, the angel called destruction, the angel called destruction, go on the assignment. Moses, tell every one of them, they should sprinkle the blood on their house. They all put it. But this night, I want to teach Pharaoh a lesson that he will allow you go by force. There are people that have vowed that they will not allow your family to rest. But after this night... They will let your family rest. Whoever has vowed that your family will not rest, God will let them to rest. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Immediately the blood was sprinkled. The commander said, Boys, we are striking this night. Twelve on the dot, knock every house. And 12 on the dots, the angels entered. They began to smite all the firstborn. Whoever is the pharaoh of your family and has vowed that no one head will rise, that anytime they want to rise, they will knock them down. I pray for you. The angel called destruction will visit the camp of your enemies. 
We visit the camp of your enemies. We visit the camp of your enemies. Do we visit the camp of your enemies? The blood has a voice. Make sure I get this message. Oh. The blood has a voice. Scripture says it speaks better things. Better what? Your family has been ordained for better things. Not management. Not patchy patchy. Not eating as if there is no tomorrow. Not eating and you are afraid of what tomorrow will look like. Scripture said the blood speaketh better things. You are not to live in fear, but in expectation. In hope. The better things are coming. The blood speaketh better things. Do you know why the blood speaketh better things? There are things that have been enchanted. There are things that have been invoked. Sorcerers. Scripture says he frustrated the token of liars and make diviners to be mad. He disappointed the plans of the crafty that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Whoever is carrying your family name to evil altar, thunder will strike them today. I decree madness on the sponsors. Let the arrow of madness hit the sponsor of wickedness. Whoever is sponsoring wickedness against your family, I decree let the arrow of madness strike them wherever they are. The blood speaketh better things. Numbers 23. We read it. Balaam hired Balak to come and curse Israel. There are people hired to curse your family. Curse them before their witchcraft coven. Curse them before their evil altar. But he said, how can I curse whom the Lord has not cursed? He said, I have not seen perverseness in Israel. Now that I have not, oh my God. Whoever is sponsoring altars, hiring fake prophets, evil prophets, to speak and curse your family, let the arrow of curses go and deposit in their family. But at the end, towards verse 19 and verse 12, 23, he said there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. Why? The blood is a silencer of enchantments. The blood is a spiritual neutralizer of invocation. Wherever they have fired enchantments against your family, let the blood scatter their plan. Let the blood of Jesus revoke their plan. Let the blood of Jesus revise their plan. The blood is a silencer. The blood also is a deleter. Deleter. There are men that operate with evil signature. You see, first daughter, I will make sure she never marry. Even if she marry, let me see how she will get belle. Whoever vow you will not get belle, they will die. The dagger for you that will kill them by fire. Watch out. Let's watch out. The blood is a deleter. There are powers that sponsors evil handwriting. <laughs> I remember one sister in one of my stations. Somebody wrote everyone in their family name and went and nailed it before an evil tree. But guess what? You see this thing we call Holy Ghost fire. Some people think it doesn't work. It may be failing in your mouth, but not in Pastor Tony's mouth. Guess what happened? <laughs> we had a pin the paper 
only God know how the paper come out. And someone beat it. And they know that that environment is evil territory. How come this paper is here? How come? They knew that the team must have fallen off from where they nailed it. I don't know who collected your name. Or maybe they collected your picture. To see how you can be nailed. Whoever took your name before Coven Powers, I withdraw your name by fire. I replace their own name by fire. What they want you to become victims of, I decree let it go back by fire to their own head. The blood is a deleter. Blotting out the handwritings and ordinances. So whatever they have written against you, which is not God's plan for you, scripture says, which was contrary to us. I don't know what they have written against you that is contrary to you. By the blood, I decree, let them be deleted. By the blood, I decree, let them be deleted. By the blood, I decree, let them be deleted. The blood also is a restorer. It speaketh restoration. I will restore to you the years that the canker worm and the plumber worm have eaten. I will restore to you whoever is against your rising. By the blood I decree, let them go down. Whoever is against your family rising, I decree, let them go down. Whoever vowed that the heads in your family will not be lifted, I decree, let them go down by fire. The blood is a restorer. I will restore to you. Jesus restored us on the price that was paid by the blood. He didn't restore some. He restored all. He restored all. So everything your family desire to see, you will see all of them. Amen. Say amen like a believer. Amen. Not some blessing. All of the blessings. 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 Thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut. Day nor night. Your family gate must open. The strong man standing at your family breakthrough to hinder it, to stop it. Now, we have what we call evil watchers. Evil watchers, they are even in churches. But no evil watcher in, in real feed will live a normal life. Yeah. I curse you by day and I curse you by night. Yeah. I mobilize the heavens and I mobilize the four winds of the spirit against you. Yeah. Nothing concerning you, concerning your family will work well. Yeah. Every evil watcher you are under the curse of this liberation ministry. Amen. Any curse leaving any member, go and deposit in your family. Amen. What is the ministry of evil watcher? Pastor is about to buy a car. Let's scatter the money. God punish your father. A sister is about to get married. Let's turn the brother's face. 
Whoever send you, you will die with the person. Some of you sit in power wing. Some sit in a wisdom wing. Some sit in hope wing. Watch whether preg her pregnancy is coming out. Your generation will suffer barrenness. As I'm saying it, the God of Oyerebo is confirming it. Who said 18 and a comet to pass when the Lord commanded it not? Why are you angry that somebody is blessed? Who made you a monetary spirit over somebody's blessing? As if you are the distributor. There are forces that are angry with glory. You don't play with them. You engage them with violence. You engage them with what? If your family must move from one glory to another, you must engage violence. Scripture says, since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And the violent, take it by what? Force. That's where we enjoy the ministry of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost... Jesus did not exhibit violence all through his ministry. He said, that is not my assignment. My assignment is to come like a lamb. Quietly. Like someone that doesn't know what he's doing. So that I can go to the cross and come back. When I come back, the Holy Ghost will torture every devil. And the Holy Ghost started his mission in, is it chapter 3 or chapter 4? Chapter 5. The Holy Ghost is the commander of vengeance. His mission is to make sure that you don't end where your enemy wants you to end. His mission is to make sure that what Jesus died on the cross for reflects in your life. It will be an insult on Jesus that's what he died for, you are denied of. Maybe you didn't hear it well. It's an insult on Jesus that what he died for, you are denied of. That's why the Holy Ghost will not take it lightly with anyone fighting your redemption. Scripture says, Christ has redeemed me redeem your family from the curse of the law being made a curse for us so you are not permitted to come under any curse from anyone again and that's why the holy ghost is here to revoke and revise back upon the head of the center anyone that is behind your tears your family depression. I speak forth with authority today. The vengeance of the Holy Ghost descend upon them. The vengeance of the Holy Ghost descend upon them. Um, where is that testimony? We read in the morning. I want you to listen to this testimony. After listening to it now, get ready to pray. The title of the testimony is God of Vengeance at Work Again. I want to appreciate God for what he has done in my life. From the charm my neighbor placed in front of my shop. If the enemy will attack you, you will always look for your neighbor. Who is always close around you which I didn't know. For the past two months, I was very strong, but I kept on taking communion and applying the anointing oil on my leg. When the covenant day of vengeance was declared, I know my God vowed to return my pain 
to wherever it came from. On getting to my shop on Wednesday morning, one of my neighbors called my attention. She knelt down and held my leg. I said, please, why are you doing this? She said, please, I have offended you. I was the one that placed charm in front of your shop and you didn't know. Since on Sunday night to Tuesday night, I have faced a, hot, a lot of challenges. On Sunday night, Bishop David Oedeko appeared with white suits and placed a bag of hot sand on my head and instructed me to go and confess to you, which I refuse. Then on Monday night, the same man appeared and wiped me seriously with cane. Still, I refused to confess because I was ashamed. Then on the third day, which was Tuesday night, because of fear, I ran from bedroom to the sitting room around 2 a.m. This same man, Bishop David Oedeko, appeared and wanted to shoot me with an arrow. From there, I pleaded with him not to kill me, that I will go and confess. Sir, this is why I knelt down and begged for your forgiveness. I thank the God of liberation who exposed this evil woman. May his name alone be exalted in Jesus' name. Whoever is doing you, today, I stand representing the God of Oyerepo. He will do them terribly. Anyone doing you, doing your family, vengeance will enter their house. Vengeance will enter their camp. Vengeance will pursue them. Whoever vowed that your family will not see glory, Today the hand of God come against them terribly. Are you ready to pray? As you are praying, I see this same testimony happening for someone here. If you are saying amen, say better amen. The God of Oyerebo is striking in the camp of your enemies. As this oil come upon you, whatever the enemy has done against you, Against any member of your family, as this oil come near you, take it, touch that paper you have written. In the name of Jesus Christ, to the put the prayer now. Le Russia ketezosa, any power saying no to my family glory. In the name of Jesus, I command you to die by fire. Any power saying no. To my family glory. In the name of Jesus, I command you to die by fire. Lerushia ketanezo. Libro tezo nikaka. Rekatozi zali kaka. Jerutete eropali. Zenobro jiglova. Bagada regodo. Zezo lika kaka. Reketeri yaga gaga gaga gaga. Any power say no. To my family glory. Die by fire. Jekute neko kapradi izono ekuka lekute jekote kote rizo leko preketeri yagaga lepra gaga 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 blood of Jesus arise scatter every agenda of wickedness. Against my family glory. Le kote. Rezo siho. Jeklu pepre. Le kopra katata. Pelodo skipo. Ekato zakuka. Preile kukata. Blood of Jesus. Arise. Scatter. Every agenda of wickedness. Against my family glory. Scatter the agenda. Blood of Jesus. Scatter the agenda. Le copreco. Je kuka braka. Ika koko preke. Je kuka keko taki. Le kotero zizo. Eria kete. Melody. Zizona. Enka kaka. Rekuteku. Iso zakikutu. Eni ota. 
manipulating issues in my family. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Any altar manipulating issues in my family. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Likuka prekete. Zezonano. Zezuria. Bekruteku. Esuse. Leko kakrikitu. Esuzali akaka. Pedo. Rezeze. Le capra enda kuku je kuka krekete pegede douce je kuka kakaka le kete kete any altar manipulating issues in my family catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire in the name of Jesus le rusia en pradia en zozono en kraketo je kuteto le rikaka e prodia in Zagala, Rekoteto, in Gagagege, Hestos of Destruction. Hestos of Destruction. Descend upon every evil gathering. Hestos of Destruction. Descend upon every evil gathering. And gang up of witchcraft. Set up against my family. Crush them, crush them, crush them, crush them, crush them, crush them, crush them. Zeria, Bekuro, Zeria, Bekuro, Zekake, Bekukete, Ikakoto, Jekukakeke, Eprape, Pelo, Ziku, Jakiki, Erateku, Elakoto, Ezaneta, Pelialeta, Rakatata. Rakatata, Rakatata. Every arrow of shame, arrow of disfavor, arrow of divorce, arrow of hardship, arrow of affliction, fired against my family glory, backfire, backfire. Backfire! 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 Arrow of affliction! Arrow of shame! Arrow of disfavor! Arrow of divorce! Arrow of hardship! Fired against my family glory! Fired against any family glory! In the name of Jesus, backfire, 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 by fire. Recoteto, genoreria, inca precoto, jeclope credi, en zuzuna, en lagodo, recacacaca, zecuta cate, en cato, jecucateco, lecusia gaga. En ragadege, en ragadege, lago robo dobono. Vengeance of God! Strike every terrible enemy of my family. In the name of Jesus. Vengeance of God! Strike every terrible enemy of my family. In the name of Jesus. Leko praka, en zuruna, en prapalie. Je clope prodo, en ragaga, je glosia, recotezo, rakatakata, ipolododo, ragalagadaga, ipolododo, ragalagadagada, ipolododo, je crucia gaga. Mega de dusa, mega de dusa, je clope rata, ragade, ragade, ragade. Blood of Jesus, arise! Enforce the release of every of my family blessings. Blood of Jesus, arise. Enforce the release of my family breakthrough. Enforce the release 
of our harvest, of our success, of our blessings. Leko Maziane Emprabale Jeklutato Rekoteria Rekoteria Ragadagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
Hear me and hear me where your family glory is coming back. Everything your family has been denied of. Everything your family has been in lack of. Whatever has reproached your family in any form. Whether the marine power, they do them. Whether the marine manipulation, they cause them. By this communion, the spell is shattered. Say amen like a believer. Whatever has been withheld, today, I command their forceful surrender. Hear me and hear me well. The spirit was man troubling your marriage. Die today. The serpent of your family. Die today. The serpent pursuing you in the dream. Die today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Your liberty is established. Amen. Affliction will not rise the second time. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Think prosperity. Amen. Expect it. Because it is coming. Amen. You will build that house. Amen. You will not only build it, you will build another one. Amen. You will buy that car. Amen. Watch out. The people that mocked you very soon, you will be the one dashing their money. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. So shall it be. Yeah. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. This blood of sprinkling comes upon you. Every evil wind, evil tide, expire. Yeah. As you go home with this blood of sprinkling, your house will be speaking glory. Yeah. No satanic activity will be able to take place in your house. Anyone on assignment to bewitch your house, to, to execute arrow in your house, vengeance will kill them. Vengeance will strike them. You will not be brought out of suffering to enter another suffering. As you sprinkle this blood, evil will pass over. Evil pass over. Evil pass over. The blood will speak for your family exemption. If you are saying amen, say better amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. The hand of God's restoration answer for your family. Your family will not test any shame again. Your family will not test reproach again. Your family will not test disgrace again. From today, your family will go from glory to glory. From favor to favor. From blessing to blessing. From honor to honor. From increase to increase. From favor to favor. From flourishing to flourishing. No more lack in your house. Any family here in depth, I bring you out by the power of God. The agenda of wickedness against your family backfire. Powers on assignment to cause divorce. Let their plans fail in the name of Jesus. Let their marine agenda scatter in the name of Jesus. Let that arrow sponsored from the village scatter in the name of Jesus. Any family tied down by wicked powers, I release you by the blood of Jesus. It shall be well with your family. It shall be well with your children. No premature death again. No one will die mysteriously again. Any witch shooting arrow of death against any member of your family, let the angels of death spread their wings over their own family. The death they wish your own family. Let it sweep their own cab. Let it go and sweep their own cab. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. You are blessed. I say you are blessed. You too, they bless me. Oh. 
That's what. Hold on first. That will be the new song of your family. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's share the goodness together. Surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let the redeemer.